Hi there, my name is Rupa Huck. I'm from London. I'm standing as a candidate in the general election in the UK in 2015. And um, I'm very encouraged by the European results in the UK. Um, in London, we doubled our number of members of the European Parliament. We had two before, now we have four MEPs. And they're a really good team. And they also reflect multicultural London. Um, so um, we have um, t two women, two men out of the new team. Um, and they're going to fight hard for equality issues. Um, in fact, it's, it, the European um, Union has been at the forefront of lots of working time directives, those kind of things, that um, even when Labour was in government in the UK, it used to claim those things. Things like, um, I mean, I'm a mum myself, maternity and paternity pay. That was the EU who led the way with those kind of things. So historically, we have a good record on equality. And we're going to go further um, in this next um, parliament. Um, I think that there's a misperception that uh, Labour did um, not as well as UKIP in these elections, but if you look at the actual figures, um, Ed Miliband's Labour Party is on course to win the general election next year. It will take a lot of hard work, but I mean we have a good uh, result. I mean I think the, um, there's been a lot of press attention given to the vote received by UKIP, the UK Independence Party. I think in large measure this is a protest vote. I think it was exaggerated in a European election. I think at the general election this will, um, I'm hoping, deflate somewhat. There, I mean, um, traditionally it's in these midterm elections like European elections that people want to register a protest against the big parties. So this is why UKIP did well this time. And I think we need to expose what their actual policies are. So on certain things, uh, I mean, for example, they're very anti-equality. Um, and uh, they have things like they want a flat rate of tax, which is, I think, 30% or something, which would mean a tax rise for most British workers. So we have a year to go to the general election to expose um, the lies and the xenophobia of UKIP. I'm confident that we can do it.